about the politics watch this is Sir P. now today i'm going to be talking about the spooky disappearance of the young lady who goes by the name donna lee donaldson now this is a very popular young lady her picture has been all over the media all over social media the story even appeared in mainstream news so number of people in the pia have been linking me saying Sir P. this looks spooky but initially i was telling them this story has been covered in the mainstream news she's very popular there's definitely no shortage of coverage so i'm gonna set this one out and see you know if she turn up or you know how things start to look but as time go by staff realize that things get spookier and spookier now as you probably notice i don't post missing people on my platform i simply don't have the resources to manage that one type of me already do i know people constantly go missing but if there is a case that is spooky and people actually have some details to go along with the missing person then we look into it so Donna Lee Donaldson now on the JCA missing page they mentioned that she was last seen at home this is not the case the last place she was seen and heard was at her boyfriend home her boyfriend is going to be the center of this video or at least a big part of it. The boyfriend is a policeman and also a music producer. Clearly, he might worry about time for him. Man. This man pick her up from our family yard. Right? This was on Monday, right? Monday night. Normally, he drop her off the next day, which should have been Tuesday, but that never happened. But initially, the family never gets spooked because, you know, it is not like, say, she's an underage child. If our man come pick her up and then you know she not come home the next day people now go immediately start think something wrong with her and our family even talked to her the following day so remember monday and pick her up monday night tuesday the family talked to her so at first nothing never seemed off then by wednesday the family tried to contact her and she now answered her phone this is what them start to find unusual this is when them start to inquire because you know it Gary, people know your general pattern and they know say all right even if we can't get to you within a certain time you're going to call me you're going to link up nobody can hear from her so what happened between the picking up monday right them talking to her tuesday and then by wednesday morning nobody can hear from her and then to make things worse the family start to notice a couple of red flags maybe tell them First thing stand out is that he call Donna Lee mother and tell her say he might try to get to her and she not answer her phone. He thinks something wrong with her. That's the first red flag. You know you might be thinking to yourself, but that not sound too, you know, out of the ordinary. If I call her and he can't get to her then yeah, maybe my think something wrong with her. Yes, yeah, Donna Lee and Mr. Police Officer is known to have a let's just say a rocky relationship at times and whenever him can call her and get to her him call the family and the first thing him say is put her up on the phone so them used to it by now and then him fall out him call the family tell her someone want to talk to her put her up on the phone this time him call and the first thing him say is him think something wrong with her him never say put her up on the phone him never say tell her more want to talk to her she be turned on her phone. This might not sound like much to you, but to the family who know all them things set, it immediately stand out, especially considering say, them can't hear from her neither. That is extremely unusual. So now the family is extremely worried and they start asking about the questions. And of the things they might say, now nah, add up, is like him almost I forget some of the earlier things they might say. At one point him even mentioned say, you know, him drop asleep, and when he wake up, she gone. And you don't know what kind of care she gone, you know. Things just never seem right to the family. So now people are definitely worried. You know them start calling and ask around. So if you're a policeman slash music producer living in an apartment and you know what apartments have already. A bunch of people living close to each other. So when certain things get loud, people have a ear. So then it was discovered that Tuesday evening there was a major commotion in the apartment that belonged to your favorite squaddy slash producer. But the main shouting match wasn't between a man and a woman. 
it wasn't between Noel and Dana Lee. It was between two women. Yes, Dana Lee and another woman in an argument. That woman is the baby mother of your favorite producer. Just so you're with me now, going back to the timeline, in Picard up Monday evening, gone, Tuesday evening, people hear a commotion by Wednesday morning in come for the man and his story. And that was the last time anybody hear anything from Donnelly. Now, you already hear say, the man is a police officer. But guess what? The baby mother is also a police officer. The baby mother that Dana Lee was arguing with is a female squaddy. But it not stop there so. The two of them have altercation before. As a matter of fact, the baby mother actually threatened Dana Lee before. We don't know what them things they got already. Woman has said, my man left him alone something to say. Well, go on there, so. This is some kind of low triangle and it look like say it gone real bad. Now up until the recording of this video, I don't know who the female police officer is. But the police officers who are doing the investigation, obviously they know who. So this is the problem so. Two police are now the last people seen with Donnelly. Not just any two police. One of them she was involved with romantically and the other one she was basically at odds with and they say love triangle so people who are close to Dana Lee are concerned about the way the police them are treat the case it seems like they're not very motivated based on my understanding investigations are being done by the half a tree police station at this point it looked like a police station or a police unit that don't have nothing to do with the policeman and woman need to take this case over. This policeman lives in an apartment. That means that they have whole heap of neighbors and very likely whole heap cameras. Now for them things uh, they can dig up and check the people themselves. The policeman have his own vehicle. But since the whole thing got down with Danali, people only see him a drive in big mother car. With him car day. Why all of a sudden him not interested in a driving film car? And why is the police not holding on to film car? Why is the police not tearing down him apartment? When you see, as days go by, it's easier to get rid of any evidence that might be in the car or the apartment. I want them to listen to me. The moment them get a report say that is the last place them hear a big argument go on and then a leak can find, they should have immediately run in, start collecting them collect in the apartment, start taking all them subs them from the car, but instead, you look like, say, no gas in the vehicle in the station. No vehicle can't move. If something happened to Donnelly, and let's be realistic, it's very likely that's the case because she's gone long enough now, right, where if she just wander off on her own because she vexed, she'd have contact somebody. She would contact nobody, so it's very likely something happened to her. They would have had to move her from the apartment go somewhere else and the fuck say fiend vehicle all of a sudden can't drive and nobody can't see me night that should have raised certain flags but again remember say a squaddy i investigate squaddy conflict of interest the excuses of the man make are simply unacceptable carlene for a little small question and answer session where you think you might go say yeah man, you know say, I, I, we do this door and then carry away as we go dash away. You're not going to hear that. Regular 87. Walk in a station and walk out. Me I talk about no tourist 87. Unless the mouse muddy who pint out something from an ID parade, man walk in another station. I'm not about 87. So now imagine a policeman who know the game that the back of him on. He know exactly what he say, how he said and go out in business. You don't have to be a nuclear physicist to see what I go on this one. It's going up to a week now. This is an adult. If I want Pitney, they would have said, well, maybe wander off gone somewhere and now no phone and other means to contact. Donnelly, a big woman. 
she can call somebody and say, Mummy, me alright. Family, me alright. Nobody know you from the girl. Clearly, something is not right. And the people who are supposed to be quote unquote investigating look like say them sit down for them on. So this case need to be taken over by people who are actually interested in solving it. And this is up until the point of this video. Who knows what we are going to hear down the week. Maybe suddenly them find their microscope and them can start searching things. Maybe suddenly them start collecting them swabs here and there. Maybe suddenly them start dig down vehicle. But then look how much days pass. People get all the time in the world to clean up apartment, clean up vehicle. I mean, this is pathetic. Yes, it's cases like this that truly test the Jamaica Constabulary Force and cases like this help put trust or take with trust from the Jamaica Constabulary Force because when people see them investigate one of their own right, and help build a case against one of their own then people can say alright, can't take them serious but one time your squaddy right, is clearly in a very spooky situation all of a sudden you can't do basics so the JCM spent a lot of time and effort doing PR, trying to help the image of the JCF and you know coming out with all kind of nice flyers and posters and promo videos. But at the end of the day, it's things like this that would actually help the JCF or hurt it. So now we're going to sit back and watch and see if them take the Jamaican public to complete fool. Baby mother and next girl in the argument. Be a mother who did already threaten the previous time. All of a sudden, big argument go on. And I lost anybody to see you from the girl. Now the mother tell you, say, Well, you know, we are looking to it and it could be, it could be. No, we don't know what go on. We don't know what go on. And just the behavior of the police show me so we don't know what go on. Because certain basics that should have been done, not do yet. And if they do yet, why? When I see the policeman and the policewoman are under real pressure. And just to show you, I said there's definitely some type of spooky behavior going on there. So, Fox said them put out that the last place she was seen and heard from was at Fair House, when the people who live in the policeman area have something else to say. Show you, say, a unicorn meet them and say, I will not buy it. So, I keep a close eye on it. If needs be, there will be an update. Anyway, you trans squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, no life. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.